Thank you very much. I give the floor to Ireland. A state that tries to hold itself above any kind of scrutiny presents a fundamental threat to human rights. We therefore endorse the call by UN experts for a special session or urgent debate on China's rights abuses and to establish a UN monitoring mechanism. And we urge the High Commissioner to publicly report on China's sweeping rights violations. No state should be above the law. China's turn has come. To Canada. Thank you, Madam President. Canada is deeply troubled by the discrimination and violations of... My family is held hostage in China's concentration camp. My brother is forced to assemble phone chargers as a slave labor. Your charger may be among them. Three million Uyghurs being detained in concentration camps. Imagine the population of Berlin or Chicago locked up as slaves. The genocide, including sterilization and organ harvesting. The Chinese government ban our language and burn our books. Overall, CCCP has sought to eradicate Uyghur identity, the culture. There can be no doubt that their crimes meet the definition of genocide as laid out in the UN Genocide Convention. I give the floor to France. Thank you, President. Thank you very much. Also of grave concern, in Xinjiang, there is compelling evidence, including from the Chinese authorities' own documents, of systematic human rights violations. Culture and religion are severely restricted, and we have seen credible reports of forced labor and forced birth control. Staggeringly, up to 1.8 million people have been detained without trial. Thank you very much. I give the floor to Finland. Thank you, Madam President. Finland. We are particularly alarmed at human rights violations in the Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region, including mass arbitrary detention and separation of children from their parents, repressive surveillance, as well as reports of forced labor and forced sterilization affecting Uyghurs and other minorities. It's itself with the statement of the EU. We focus on the shrinking civic space and. This They're absent. So next speaker is Iceland. The national security law is being implemented with the apparent intention to eliminate dissent. It allows prosecution of certain cases in mainland China, a jurisdiction where defendants are often held for long periods without charge or access to legal counsel, and where we have concerns about judicial independence, due process, and reports of torture. From observer states, starting with the United Kingdom.